Hello there, there, folks. Kirk here. Kirk Giordano. Flash me. Oh, yeah. um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a scratch and brow, same day system on this house because I want to color coat this next week. And so, uh, with this particular material, we're going to do scratch and brown and color in the day, but we don't want to do that. We're just going to scratch and brown it. I want to show you a few things. Um, great lath job. First of all, we did it. Uh, over here, let me point out a couple little minor, minor things that are kind of important. We've got a soffit mesh going into a wall that this wall is not broken out. Well, we don't need to break it out. That blue stuff is called weldcrete. It's all the way around the perimeters where we don't have wire tie-in. So we don't get no hairline cracks there when this all sets. We're going to go ahead and scratch the entire thing. And when we're done scratching the entire thing, uh, we're going to start browning it. All right, guys, second coat. Bad and ugly. We're going to darby it. That means I'm going to take a rod to it, a feather edge, a rod, uh, a T-bar, depending on whatever country you're in Australia, they keep calling T-bars or straight edges. Once we put the second coat, I'll show you how we work that. All right, for my buddy in Australia, the land down under, they use a T-square. It's just like this, except it has one flat edge. It looks just like a T. Here in the States, uh, California, uh, we're familiar with this. This is a straight edge, a feather edge, a rod. And when I work union, there'd be one guy on one level, me on the other level, and we take a 10 or 30 foot rod and we'd rod walls, banks specifically, where they're going to put imitation tile on. And that wall had to be true and plumb within an eighth of an inch or we get yelled at. Anyhow, they said they used, uh, my buddy was emailing me saying, man, we all we use in Australia are the straight edges. I thought, man, you guys are good because these are hard to use. This is how we used to do the union jump. You take it and you, you go here and you pull it up and it, you just keep, it just, you keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. Man, it takes forever. Here's what we do over here. Now these are more popular all over uh, US, Mexico, and they got some good plasters there. You take this, this uh, Darby, you can call it a straight edge, a rod, and you just you know, grab this guy right here. You come up and feather into it. You just put the excess where you need it. Take your leg, put your elbow back here, and come up. This is the second coat. Making it true and plumb. When I worked union, I worked behind a pump, and I would do this eight hours a day, every day. And we'd do about, uh, we do about uh, seven to eight houses a day just with the scratch coat or the brown. As well, I work for Danny Smith Plaster, plastering. Fred Smith, he's still working today. He's a little fellow who taught me more than anybody. Fred Smith, man, he's an excellent plaster. Work for Danny Smith Plastering still. Or actually, they call it another name, but he showed me all these techniques years and years ago. Come by, say, hey, bro, you're killing yourself. Put it right here and do this. Okay guys, now what we're doing is hard rubber floating it. This takes a lot of elbow grease. What we're basically doing is by pushing this in. It's the same day material, so I'm pushing it in hard, real hard. A lot of strength, and you just push it in tight. And when I get done, remove all these windows and I can tell Dan was here. He's my youngest. We covered these windows. I generally put a piece because it's a real windy day. It's kind of stopped now, but a KG I know stands for me, and he's always messing with me. And he got a good sense of humor. Anyway, uh, we're gonna hard rubber float everything. Then we're gonna hose it down. Most materials I tell the homeowner hose it down for three days. This particular material, we hose it down same day. All right, guys, we are all hungry. We got food over here waiting for us, but this, this particular product doesn't wait for anybody. This is a uh, rapid set, man. It doesn't wait for anybody. So we're pushing in, pushing in hard, going back, going over everything in about 15 more minutes. We're gonna have it. Then we're all gonna take lunch. You really gotta use a lot of elbow grease with this and hit it while, right now it's real hard. If I wait another half hour, I won't have enough muscle to push, push in. So, when you're using this particular product, you need a certification, and you better know what you're doing. Okay, guys, we're all set now. 
Our sprinkler heads are all clean, so there's no stucco in there. Of course, the down spouts where they go in here, we had it plugged. We wash it out anyhow. Cleaned all the plants, cleaned everything. You can never be too clean, and we always have a, a model. Leave it cleaner than you found it. You ever been yelled at for leaving a job too clean? Me neither. But I've been yelled at for other things. Anyhow, this wall is, is all floated out. This wall is all floated out. We've been, because of this particular product, actually to hose it down, including the roof up there, I've been hitting it with water occasionally. If it was real hot, I would have hit it many, many more times. But that's this particular product. It requires you hose it down, hose it down. So come on in here, Jay, if you can. We've got a beautiful oak door there. Hey, with a piece of red tape still on it. We're gonna get that off. Up here, the same thing. We gotta hose this particular stuff down, which is not a big deal. Come around here and I'll show you the last piece. Good job, Dan, good job. How's it going, buddy? Oh, I'll take it from here. Show that float, we'll clean it up. Beautiful, Dan, beautiful. We'll just put the final touches on it. We'll hit that a little bit with water. Hydrated, hydrated. Most traditional systems, you don't have to hydrate till the next day. Anyhow, uh, another job well done. My name is Kirk. I am with Kirk Joe Donald Plastering. When this fella comes home, he'll look at it and say, man, nice job. He's in uh, law enforcement. Last thing I want to do is do a bad job and get pulled over and get a ticket. So, As usual, folks, we'll see you guys on the next one.